In this video, I will show you how to create a Pixar style animation using two AI platforms, Design AI and Runway. Before the tutorial, let's look at my generated animation using these amazing tools. Alina, I will receive the response to my application next week. I'm really excited. Oh, I totally forgot it. Exciting. Accepted. I don't feel very well. Strange. I don't know how long does it take to come back. No worries. I really miss I'll you, Alina. I'll be fine. Maybe I shouldn't go. Calm down for a moment. This is your last chance. Sometimes in life you need to decide, man. Next week will be the last exam. Prepare for it. If I pass this last one, then I will graduate. I don't believe this. I'm sorry. I heard your talk with Alina. Sorry to say she is really sick. She doesn't sleep very well and doesn't eat so much. If you agree with this, write in the comment, sacrifice. Let's dive a step one. Don't forget subscribe, like and comment if you like the content. Otherwise, I will take your favorite pet. For characters, we need some similar looking images for model training. In this video, already I told you how to make consistent characters using Design AI. Simply choose models like Toon Face and write your prompts to generate character images. Even without model training, you might get very similar images to use for image to video production. Step 2. Training our model. Click on a style learner. We need 3 to 10 images. Already from my previous animation that I made using Leonardo AI motion tool, I had these images for my two favorite characters, David and Elena. During a short time, around 30,000 people watched this video and almost 600 liked the animation. Similar to Design AI, in Leonardo AI, you can train your model as well. Upload the images that have some kinds of variation and then train. Step 3. Getting images for final production. Go to Home, New Project, choose Text to Image option. Click here and from my styles, select David. As prompt, David in the kitchen, comma, have a tomato in his hand. Choose your own aspect ratio, select the right style intensity. For this animation application, if you choose really high, then you might not get your favorite image. On the other side, if you put it on weak intensity, then you might lose your character consistency. I like high quality. On advanced setting, you can write a negative prompt and an important option, seed number. Instead of model training, you can choose a seed number for a specific character. With the same seed number, the produced image will have to some extent the consistency generate. It takes seconds to minutes to have four images with quite good consistency. Let's test seed number usefulness as well. I have chosen flux model and now written one, two, three, four, five, six as seed number. Select your aspect ratio. Now we need to write a good prompt. Go to chat GPT. Give me all details for a Pixar like animated character. Include the color of hair, skin, eye, shirt, jean, etc. Max in 300 characters. Let's copy the prompt into Design AI. I added a Pixar animated character as well. And now generate. Quite similar images. If I click another time generate, we get exactly the same images as before. Let's add running outside to the main body of the prompt. 
quite similar images but maybe not 100% consistent. Let's try the same prompt in Leonardo AI with the same seed number with Phoenix model. Nice images. Writing a letter at home. Great. Cycling outside. Wow. Let's come back to the train model in Design AI. For another scene, I write, David is reading a letter in forest. Now I have other four images. Unfortunately, it's not letter in David's hands. It looks like books. Let's fix this. Double click on this image and close this one. Now I introduce you the magic options in Design AI. On the left, click on AI Editor. You have access to Local Edit, Insert Option, AI Eraser, and Generative Expand. First, you might think AI Eraser works here. Let's try. Select Brush and choose the right size. Mark the book and Generate. As you see, none of these images are good and the hands are completely deformed. Okay, this time let's try local edit. Again, choose brush and mark the book. As prompt, write letter and generate. This one is great. Let's download the edited image. As you see, it says zip and download two layers. If you move the image, you see the older one is in the behind. Delete the image in the back and now even you can choose SVG for vector format that all designers love. If you don't know what is SVG, look at this video. Download. Now I want to put Elena in this image. Select Elena style. Elena is sitting in the forest. I select this one. Remove background is so useful here. Let's crop and put it here. Again, for download, you have the two layers problem. First, click on Elena's image, then hold the shift key and select the main image by left click. And now merge layers. Another tip, do not use insert object for your character. I uploaded this image. Let's insert my character. I choose the highest level of object match and mark this area and generate. As you see, the consistency of character is gone. Let's insert this sweet case. And again, the big handle is gone. So use insert object if you don't need consistency. Let's try AI eraser. Select lasso tool and generate. Good job. Generate expand is very useful as well. Now I like to add some passengers. Just drag this way. Nice. Even you can use the flux model for your image generation that seems is one of the best models available right now. Since I need to keep the consistency of David and Elena's cottage, I just upload this image. Based on the story in my mind, Already, I had generated images in Design AI that you see in this folder. A step 4. In this step, go to Runway and Login. Click on Generate a Video. On top, you see three different models. Gen 3 Alpha Turbo, that is the fastest generation. Gen 3 Alpha, highest fidelity video generation. And Gen 2, the oldest one. I used Gen 3 Alpha Turbo because it's fast and uses less credits. Also, if you choose 10 seconds, it will cost double amount of credits. Upload your image and generate. If you like, write a prompt in the description to guide AI. Your video will be ready soon. Step 5. Sound effects. CapCut itself has sound effects, but you should be sure about the copyright issue. From freesound.org, you have access to a lot of free sound effects. Or in ttsfree.com, write your speech, select your voice of choice, even you can change the pitch and the speed. You can look this video for full version of what I shared for this section. Another free online AI sound effect generator is Pop Pop AI platform. Look this video for more details. The two fantastic ending videos are from Minimax AI platform that for free you can make videos from text prompts. Watch this video for how to access. And then this video for insane CGI or visual effects 
generated by this amazing platform for free. Don't forget like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.